Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a what's sold video today. I don't do these often and I want to start doing them more. They're, I find, more informative sometimes than thrift hauls. Thrift hauls are super fun and I love doing them. But sometimes you want to know what's actually selling, right? Like anybody can pick up anything at the thrift store, but are they actually selling it? And how much are they selling it for, right? So those are the things that we like to know as resellers and let's learn from each other and what's selling. So I want to provide more informative content and what sold videos are a great way of doing that. So here I am. I have a bunch of eBay sales for February. It's not going to be all of my eBay sales. There were too many and I didn't want to bore you by having this video go on for decades. Um, so I just picked, I think I have 28 items and they go from February 1st through today, which I believe is the 26th. And they totaled, let's see, $815.53. They're not all high dollar items. There's going to be some lower ones, but they were noteworthy or interesting that I had a little bit to share about them. And so that's why I chose them. Um, if you are a reseller or you like watching resellers on YouTube, feel free to give me a subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers out there that have um, just recently joined. There's been a big influx of you and I appreciate each and every, I can't talk. I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me on my little journey in reselling. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into the sales. I'm gonna share my screen so you can see um, me and the sales and the dollar amounts and everything. First, we have this Free People Blossom Thermal Top, very popular shirt from Free People. I picked it up because of the fun sleeves. A lot of Free People, it depends on the style, but I may pass on it lately. It's not selling for as much as it used to. The thermals, though, do well, especially the ones with fun sleeves. These were kind of a big baggy, like balloon style. I priced it at $40 and got an offer for $29 and happily accepted it. So that is off to a new home. Next is this vintage Dunian Bork, Bork, Bork. I don't know why I said Bork. Vintage Dunian Bork, big dock leather <laughs> um, keychain. Um, yeah, this was kind of thrown in. I got with a lot of other purses and handbags, so it wasn't like the prime item. Um, and I was surprised it was still selling for so much. So I got $19.99 out of it. Someone bought it for full price, which is great for just a little keychain. Obviously a good brand, but I was really happy with that sale. Next we have Tadashi. This is a something. It's a velvet with lace, like lapel collar area, lace cuffs. It's very fancy. I don't know where anyone would be wearing this these days, but somebody wanted it and someone sent me an offer for $40 and I happily accepted. I've been a little bit on a Tadashi kick lately. Um, probably should stop picking up so much of it. Some of it is a little, just not the best, but um, I just, I don't know. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I gotta pick it up, but you don't have to. Um, but this one was a good one to pick up, so I am glad I, I did get this one. It sold, like I said, for $40, so that was awesome. Okay, next. Oh, the, the picture isn't on the front because this is actually my second time filming this video because I did it the first time and the sound was all messed up. So here I am kind of going through it again. Anyway, these... Todd's the uh, Todd's penny driving loafers. They were like a slip-on leather shoe. I Got really excited when I saw these at the thrift store. I was like, oh my gosh Todd's these are a great brand They sell for a lot. I Need to get these and I got them even knowing the condition was not great um, They were dirty. They were faded. They were things I probably should not have picked them up. Like you can see how worn they are. Like the tread is pretty, pretty flat on the bottom. Um, and there's just darkening near the heels. Like maybe they're worse in my mind than they are in like the pictures from what I remember. But I got enthralled by the brand. 
priced them too high because of the brand um, and they sat for a really long time, of course. And so finally, someone sent me an offer for $35 and I said, yes, please take them. This is a lesson learned for me. Don't get enthralled by a brand just because it's a good brand. The condition needs to be good, resellable condition. And then don't price too high if something isn't in the best condition. Like I do occasionally pick up things with flaws, whether I am aware of them or not at the time of purchase, but I need to get better about pricing them in accordance to what I actually have. You can't price something with a flaw the same as something new with tags, you know? So this was one of those mistakes that I made that I probably priced a little high. Um, I was very upfront about the condition and everything, so I wasn't trying to hide anything, but my price was a little, little out of whack on that. So I will learn for next time, but $35 was still not bad. That's not a bad shoe sale. I probably paid a couple bucks for them, so overall not bad. This cleanser, it's like a face wash. Um, it's called the Perlis Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. It was sealed, came in the box, and then the little cap part was sealed, which is nice. I bought this in a bag of a few other beauty items at the thrift store, so it wasn't the primary thing that I bought the bag for. There were a few other things that were more valuable, but this sold still for $10 with free shipping. Um, yeah, it was a full price sale for $9.99. I added free shipping because a lot of the competitors were also doing free shipping and you know, I wanted to be competitive with them. So it did not take too long to sell, maybe a month. And I was really pleased with it. I do have a hard time with the products because I wanna keep them and try them out for myself. I kind of have like the, a skincare product junkie, I guess you could call it. I like those things. So when I find them at the thrift store, I wanna keep them, but um, I'm glad it sold for $10. That's really cool. All right, here is another like beauty bag purchase. I got this, um, what is it? A eau, eau de toilette. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a cologne spray for men. It's called Space for Men by Kathy Carden. It was 80% full. It came in a bag with another bottle of aftershave. Um, so I think it was maybe $3 for this this piece um because i think the bag was totaled for six dollars or something like that anyway um you can still sell used beauty products on um ebay and things you just have to put them in the other category you can't put them under um you know the cologne spray fragrance whatever category um because they make you say new but if you put them in other, you can still list used beauty, which is a little tip for you. And then also with perfumes and anything with alcohol in it like that, make sure you're shipping it ground. So um, I had to create a new shipping policy here in my eBay um, to accommodate that it's shipping ground. Um, it can't go priority or in the air because it is flammable. So just make sure you're noting that. Anyway, this did not sell for $33, it sold for 21 but it's still not bad. I didn't have it for too long. I just wanted to kind of try it out. It was a unique, it looked vintage -y. Um, Yeah, I don't, I'm not much to say about it. Here it is, you can see kind of how full it is. Interesting, I'm dabbling more in the beauty cosmetics department and I'm loving it so far. Like they're selling relatively quickly and I'm thrilled, so yay. For that perfume or cologne next we have these bike shorts they're women's cycling short they kind of have the padded booty and everything um, these were featured in a haul video not too long ago so i think i got them at a 50 percent off sale so probably three dollars in them or something like that but i priced them at 30 and someone sent me an offer for 26 which i happily accepted that it was the same person who origi originally originally sent me an offer for like I want to say like 16 or something and I was like "Ooh, that's a little low let's try and come up a bit and they just wouldn't come up at all and I was like okay well I'm not gonna sell them for 16 two days after listing them and then like a week later she came back at 26 and I was like wow that is so reasonable thank you so there's a little story behind that 
but I think people are getting prepared for the warmer seasons, so getting their cycling gear. All right, this piece was great in a way. It was an Eileen Fisher. It was an alpaca and wool blend sweater. Very scoopy neck, as you can see. Um, I listed it for $44.99, and it sold the first time for $44.99, full price, which was great. Um, and then the person wanted to return it. And I don't know about you, but anytime something gets returned, I then put like a little black cloud over the item. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Like literally it's still fine, still sellable. They just didn't like it. But now I feel like there's just a dark cloud over this sweater. And so now I want it gone as soon as possible. And so someone else came along after I got the item back and offered, what did she offer me? 25. And I think I countered at like 32 or something like that or something. And she came back at 25. And I was like, okay, you're pretty firm on that. Fine. Let's get the little rain cloud out of my house and off to Canada actually is where this went. So it did sell once at 45, which I probably could have gotten if I had waited. But I just needed the little rain cloud to go away, so I took a $25 offer. Okay, this was a full price sale, I remember. So $25.99. It's a Soft Surroundings Shapely was the name of the top. It's kind of this like faux wrap style, um, three-fourth length sleeves and a bright kind of coral pinky color. It was a fun color. I liked it. Um, I pick up a lot of Soft Surroundings. I'm starting to wonder if I pick up too much soft surroundings but it's a pretty reliable seller for me so um bread and butter flips in that like 20 to 30 range depending on the, the style and if it's a top or a dress or something like that but i mean this was not listed for very long and it sold for 26 dollars. so i will happily take that all day long oops i clicked the wrong thing Okay, Adriano Goldschmied jeans. These were the cigarette roll-up, stilt roll-up, I think was the name of them. They had, yeah, see, the stilt roll-up, cigarette roll-up. That is just a lot for a style name. But these sold for a best offer of $22. I have had hit or miss luck with AG jeans in the past, and so... I picked them up, but I was a little hesitant and I got nervous when they started sitting. And so I took the $22 and was like, yep, I have dabbled enough in AG jeans now that I don't always pick them up. Um, I kind of wish I had kept these for myself, though. They're, they're cute. Okay, next is this cross stitch kit. This was a small one. It was only seven inches by five inches so not not big but it was brand new you can see in the back it had all the thread and everything sealed everything vintage ish i believe close to vintage yeah there's the 2002 so almost vintage you can see the size there um and it was just this like welcome sign with the the different seasons which is kind of cute but cross stitch kits can do very very well um, even the small ones, this sold very, very quickly for, someone sent me an offer for $8.50, and I was like, fine, I think I paid $0.50 cents or a dollar for this, so happy to move it on. Um, I had two in the same size, one had dolphins on it, one was obviously this one, and they both sold very, very quickly. So definitely don't sleep on the cross-stitch kits if you find them like this, you know, where they're sealed with all the thread and stuff in the back. Um, and then I have, I think at the end, I have a finished cross stitch piece that I picked up or needlepoint and um, that did well as also. So stay tuned for that coming up soon. Okay, this is a necklace is very interesting piece, kind of a native look with um, this very prominent pendant. It was a choker style, like memory wire. It was kind of stretchy, whatever. Um, someone sent me an offer for $15. I happily accepted that. I have quite a bunch of jewelry and I need to get better at listing it. 
um, yeah, I just really need to get on listing my jewelry because it can do really well and it takes up no space in my home. So $15 for that little guy, so happy about it. Okay, Lucky Brand. Um, if you saw a haul video a few videos ago, I don't even remember when, I picked up a lot of Lucky Brand shoes and these were obviously one of them. These are like really cute kind of ankle strappy sandal that someone bought full price, $32.99. Um, which, yeah, they are in great shape. You can see, like, almost no wear to the insole. There was a little scuffing on the back, but nothing crazy. There's the zippers with the tassel, like, super cute style. $33, basically, and I fit them in a padded envelope, a padded flat rate, and off they went. Okay, this is a vintage dress, um, 1950s, like it says. It was in decent shape. It did have a little mark on, it was on the back of a, a shoulder that I think you might be able to get out and dry cleaning because I don't think it came that way. I think somehow I put it there, so I don't know. That doesn't mean it would come out, but I think it would. Um, yeah, it was just a unique dress with the bow kind of collar, long sleeve. It looked a little funerally um and i am finding that in the vintage pieces the black more mournful looks are taking longer to sell the bright bold colorful ones are selling much quicker and for way more money than the darker pieces so that is a note to self on picking up vintage i got all my vintage pieces in a big lot actually two big lots of dresses and stuff um, so I didn't have too much say over the picking through them or whatever. I just bid one price for all of them. Um, but now I know if I come across them in the thrift store, be careful of the, the color and the pattern and those kinds of things. The funkier, the better. And then also condition. Um, I think it's okay for some vintage things to have flaws because of their age. Like this still sold for $45 with that kind of stain on the back shoulder but I had some pieces in these lots that were really worn. And if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. Um, and they take more time and effort and money to clean up because of their age. So just keep that in mind if you are looking at items from, I mean, the items I'm talking about are like the 30s to the 50s. So decently old. I don't mean vintage like the 90s or like the 80s. Um, pretty old vintage stuff so just a tip for you there okay next up I have this young fabulous and broke velvet cardigan top um, it's kind of like an overlay layer piece I don't really know how you would wear it clearly with something underneath it um, it's kind of this like open front style with that bow tie there but it's velvet in that really pretty dusty rose color it is a silk blend, which is nice, and um, the tag just said YFB on it. Oops. So it did, um, I did have to hunt and look at this tag to find out that it was Young, Fabulous, and Broke, which I wanted to make sure it was that, which it is. Um, someone bought this full price again for $39.99. I've had pretty decent luck with Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Usually their stuff is like very tie-dyed and things, so this seemed different for their vibe, but hey, I'll take it, $40. All right, this piece I have had forever. Probably two and a half years, no joke, in my closet and eBay store. It's an older Torrid piece. You can tell by the label. They don't make that label anymore. Um, so I probably would not pick this up today based on that label. And it is just a very basic sweater tank top blouse thing. Um, I thought it would be really cute in the holiday time. I think that's when I initially picked it up is like two Christmases ago and it just didn't sell. Um, and so someone sent me an offer for $12 and I said yes immediately. I probably would have taken $5, you know. Just one of those pieces that has been around too long but now it's off to a new home okay 
And then I sold this vintage Paddington Bear picture frame. It was from 1995. You can see, yep, there's the year on the back. And it was really cool because it you can see it's kind of 3D with little Paddington and some birds and flowers and stuff. And I'm really trying to try more home items, some vintage decor, just really trying to expand what I'm selling. And so I thought this, I think it was maybe a dollar. I thought it would be a fun thing to try out. Someone sent me an offer for $10, I believe. Yeah, and I happily accepted. They sent the offer, I think the next day after I listed it, so not bad. Um, yeah, it isn't anything crazy. It was a lower end frame. The middle here was not um, glass. It was just a little plastic sheet and it did have a little discoloration to it, but um, not bad for a dabble. All right, some more vintage. We have some Lucite heels. Um, they're a cute little sandal with these like rhinestone detailing down the front. Um, they definitely needed these shoe form things to keep them in place. They were like really wonky without them. Um, but yeah, they were cute, very vintage, obviously, 1950s. They were a little worn. They did have some discoloration, but overall for their age, they were in great shape. Like those bottoms are really good. Um, someone sent me an offer or I sent out an offer for $55.99 and they accepted and they went to Germany. So that was cool. I have a lot of vintage shoes left and they are moving a little bit slower than I would like, but I think because they're mostly narrow width. So you can see with these, like they're a size 9N. Um, so it's just harder to move something that's more narrow. And I tend to stay away from the narrower sizes, but these were again in a lot of shoes and I couldn't inspect them all. It was um, via the internet. So, um, I'm glad I still got them though. I've made some good money on them so far. Okay, next we have this Snapchat Wink Ghost hoodie. Actually, it's a sweatshirt. There's no hood. It's just a crew neck. Um, but I knew someone would like this. Like, I mean, come on. Look at that face. It's just like the little wink of the Snapchat logo guy. Um, there's the little app logo. I don't know if this was some like promotional thing from the company or what but I knew someone would like it and someone bought it for full price, I believe. Yeah, $24, just really unique piece. There were no comps on it at all, but I was fine with that. So I just priced it 24. All right, these are some Amanda Adams jeans. They're very embellished, very intricate work on them. They were new with tags, which is cool, um, but you can see like the heavy beading heavy lace, embroidery, all the things. And even like, look up at the, this part here is a little loose. Like it's just hard to not have flaws on some of the beads here because it is just so intricate. But I put my eBay store at 25% off and someone bought them at the $112.49 price, which was the sale price. So if you see Amanda Adams, it's not popular brand you don't see a lot of it but if you do come across it pick it up I paid up for these and I still I think I've paid $17 for them and uh, yeah I've, I've sold two pairs and this one sold for 112 and I think the other pair sold for 95 or something like that so it is a very desirable brand Okay, next up is another um, jewelry piece. I had this natural stone, like carnelian and agate necklace. It was interesting to me because it didn't seem very well balanced. Like most necklaces, if they're graduated, they get from smaller to larger the farther down it goes. But this had like the smaller beads at the bottom and it just seemed a little lopsided. So I wasn't sure if anyone would be into it, but someone was. And let's see, they bought it at the sale price of $12.75, so I hope they like it. Okay, this is um, a set of 50 blank CDs, so you can record on them, music, photos, whatever. And I've heard from other resellers that blank media 
can do very well, like blank cassette tapes or VHS tapes, things like that. People still need them. So I priced these, let's see, at $29.99, and then someone bought them at the sale price of $22.49. I had free shipping on them to be competitive with the other buyers out there, and they sold, I think, in two to three days. So I will definitely be picking up more blank media if I find it. All right, this one I thought was a bad buy, and it wasn't a great buy by any means. It did sell for just $11.99 of the sale price, um, but it sold so fast, and I was planning on sending an offer to people who liked it for probably around $12, so, um, I mean, I know Disney is popular, but I, I just thought it was a little worn, and maybe I shouldn't have picked it up, like, you can see the tag is not in good shape, um, and I didn't even know if it was vintage or made to look vintage, you just, I couldn't get enough info out of it, but I am happy with that sale. Um, it was, yeah, just a cute little Little Mermaid top. All right, this piece, I'm going to get some water, is a little f and B's doll. I picked this up for a couple reasons. One, it still had the tag, so I could get some info on it, which was good for comps. It was called the f and B's Just Friends Collection. She was the Swiss yodeler's girl. Um, she had those sleepy eyes that, you know, blinked when her head moved and stuff, which is great. She was missing the bottom of one shoe, as you can see there. But um, the comps were great on this, and I got offers right away. So I listed it at $44. I immediately had an offer for 12 I think, which I just outright declined. Um, that was way too low for me to even consider. And if they wanted to come up, we could talk but not at 12. So I declined that one. Then I got an offer for 20 from a different person. I was like okay that's still less than 50% um, but I will counter 35 is kind of my lowest right now because keep in mind I had listed this minutes ago and I countered 35 to that person and then another person came and offered 35. And I was like oh I like this trend they're gradually getting better and better offers um, and so I sat on the $35 offer for a while um, to see if any other better ones came in or a full price sale, but um, none did. And so I happily accepted the $35 offer. This little doll is still out in the USPS Borg, um, even though the sale happened a few weeks ago. It's just kind of lost in the sauce a bit. So hopefully she arrives safely. Um, Oh, and my other little tip on this piece was I charged $10 for shipping. It was kind of a bulkier piece. It had to go in a, a box, but it was actually cheaper for me to print and buy my label through Pirate Ship than it was through eBay. So when I went to go make the label in eBay, because of the dimensions of the box and everything, the weight, they wanted me to buy the label for, I think it was like $11.70 or something like that. And I was like, well that's a bummer. I only charged her $10 for it. And so I went on over to Pirate Ship and put in the information. And Pirate Ship actually has an option where you can put a box in a bag and you only have to enter the length and width of the bag and you don't have to enter the height. So instead of three dimensions, you're really paying for two or something. Um, and it ends up shipping priority mail cubic when you do it that way, but it's generally cheaper. So the box wasn't very big, so I just put it in a poly mailer, entered the dimensions of the box there and the weight and everything, and in Pirate Ship it was only going to cost me $9.50 or something like that to send the item. So I went that route and then just, um, you know, copied the tracking number over into eBay and it was all said and done. Um, so keep that in mind if eBay shipping, you think you might be able to get a better deal. If it's a, if it's a box that you might be able to fit in a poly bag, just check out Pirate Ship. They may have a better option for you. Um, I use them all the time and I love it. So yes, that, I did tell you that sold for 35. Then these True Religion jeans, 
Um, let's see, what did these sell for? $36, so still a pretty good price on these. They were just a skinny jean, which I don't see a lot of by True Religion. Um, but I hear the, the youngins these days are saying that skinny jeans are going out of style, but I'm still I'm wearing skinny jeans right now, so I'm, I'm already old and behind the times, and I think I still have a side part, which I've heard is also not cool anymore. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't pick up a lot of True Religion. It is a slower sale, but I thought because these were skinny jeans, I was like, oh, they'll do better than maybe like boot cut or something, but I guess skinny isn't in, but still, I'll take $36. It's still good in my eyes. Okay, this is a Arbonne sea salt scrub. So like a body, a body scrub, the scent or flavor, whatever was called Awaken, which seemed to be a desirable scent. Um, it was new, brand new, sealed, just no box. And I was thrilled about this one. I'm really loving the cosmetics and the beauty products that I'm selling. They're really fun. I'm a sucker for skincare products myself. And so I just really love selling them. This guy sold for full price of $25.99. Free shipping again because of competition. I find, you know, it's a little different than selling clothing where, you know, the, the size is different. Maybe the colorway is different. The condition can be different. So there may not be too many identical ones out there to your shirt per se. But with a product like this, there is not much variation. So you have to price you have to look at the active listing prices a little bit closer as well um, to make sure that you are, you know, right up in there at, with the competitive pricing. So partly why I offer free shipping on a lot of the products as well um, because of that. So anyway, loving selling these products. This guy sold for $26 and I had a dollar and 15 cents in it. I got a bag with this item and then a lotion in the same scent. I have not listed the lotion yet, um, but each product was about a dollar cost of goods, and I will gladly turn a dollar into 26 all day long. All right, a couple more pieces. Here is that needlepoint I had referenced at the beginning of the video. It's a finished piece. It's already done by someone, and they literally, look at this, they just stapled it to a board, like legit just folded it over, but whatever, it's cute. I put like rustic cottage in the title. I saw someone else do that and I was like, ooh, keywords. Um, yeah, I just thought it was adorable. It, it was, I don't know, I just really liked it. Like it, I knew someone would love this decor. I think I got it for a dollar or two at Goodwill and I was shocked. It sold for full price. $34.99. I just, I couldn't believe it. I will never pass up this stuff ever again. Um, the comps were showing it as that, and maybe I could have got it maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Let's not be greedy about the vintage needlepoint, but cute little bird. I hope someone loves it. Oopsies. Pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Last piece, as you can see, is a cobby. Is it cobby or cabby? I don't know. Anyway, but it's a dress. It's just a polyester, ruffly dress. Let's see. Cute print, though. Long sleeve. I think the sleeves, yeah, the sleeves were sheer. So that's fun and just kind of that tiered skirt. I guess it was supposed to come with a belt. Maybe there were belt loops. I don't remember. Um, but I did not get the belt. And I sent out an offer and someone accepted and the price was $26.39. I guess I had free shipping on this, but I didn't mean to. When I went to print the label, I was like, oh man, I didn't, I didn't charge shipping. I think that was in the phase where I was trying to do more of my clothing free shipping to see if it made a difference in sales. And I think I can conclude no, it did not. Um, so I'm back to charging shipping on everything. But... I hope someone loves it. Cabby is not my favorite to sell, so I don't pick it up often. Um, but I thought this piece was cute, so I did. But yes, those were my sales. Um, selective eBay sales for the month. Like I said, it was 28 items for a little over $800. 
Um, let me know what your favorite piece or least favorite piece was in the comments and what you think about what sold videos. Kind of like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to do more of them, um, giving you some different types of content along with the haul videos. And yeah, happy thrifting, sourcing, selling, all of those things. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you really soon. Bye.